Well, if you're trying to get from Macon to Warner Robins, 247 is a popular route. Two years ago, Bibb commissioners asked the Department of Transportation to put a roundabout near the intersection of Pianona and Houston Avenue, but construction still hasn't started. Abby Casora spoke with someone who's seen accidents firsthand and hopes the project will be underway soon so no one else gets hurt. Right now, Houston, Pianona, and Broadway Avenue all end here at this stoplight. Really quick on the corner. You know, if it's just a little bit slipped and it's about to slide. Jacob Lee works at the Valero gas station across from the intersection. He says he's seen accidents like this one happen right outside of his store. Two people came out of it and someone was seriously injured. In the last five years, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office reports there have been almost 200 collisions, including three fatalities and six serious injuries. No, they're just gunning it after it turns green. And you could just hear people ripping their cars or, I don't know, sometimes they're probably racing each other. Data shows that Highway 247 is one of the most dangerous roads in Bibb County. Back in 2017, Bibb County commissioners asked the Georgia Department of Transportation to build the roundabout. Penny Brooks, spokesperson for GDOT, says they're in the beginning phases. Commissioner Al Tillman posted this to his Facebook page, asking people if they still support the project for a three-legged roundabout opposed to the stoplight there now. Lee says he supports it. Of people getting from Macon to Warner Robins and back, and I just think, you know, it's a pretty dangerous corner, and you, you, you just see it, you know. I drive down this corner to, you know, get back to work, and, you know, even when I'm driving, driving I could tell it's, you know, it's pretty scary. Lee hopes GDOT moves forward with the plans before any other accidents happen. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. The Department of Transportation says they'll agree to fully fund the project if the county supports the plan. County commissioners say they passed a bill of support back in November of 2017.